Welcome to the Positive Pants Podcast. Mindset, motivation, and inspiration to help you find your positive pants. It's time to let go of negative thinking, understand why you do what you do, and stop the self sabotage with your host, Fran Excel. Welcome to the show. As always, it's Fran Excel, your resident subconscious success mentor, helping you find your very own pair of positive pants so you can get out of your own way and live a life that you love. If you want to stop self-sabotaging your own success and let go of the stress, then you are in the right place, my friend. Make sure you download your free Stressed to Success guided meditation at bit.ly forward slash stress to success as my little gift to you just for being here. Please do subscribe, share and review. It really, really helps people that need to hear this message find us and I so appreciate it. In the show notes, you'll also find details of how you can work with me and where you can get your mitts on my meditations, products, printables, programs. You can find it through the link in my bio on Instagram which is my favourite place to hang out. So please do come join me over there at I'm Fran Excel. Tag me in your takeaways, slide into my DMs. I'm here for it. So that's the formalities over my love. So let's jump to the content. As we go into the Christmas week, I always like to put my thoughts out in a little roundup style kind of thingy with some added food for thought before we take a break until the new year. It's been a really big year for so many people. We have to acknowledge the last almost two years have all weirdly blurred into one. (laughs) And so many people are tired. So many people are burned out. So many people are over it. I'm wondering how things will ever go back to some semblance of normal. So many people are missing yet another Christmas with loved ones. It's a lot. Yeah, it's okay to acknowledge that. We can feel the hurt and still be grateful for other things. And we can feel the hurt and still be aware and conscious of ourselves and make sure that we're being super kind to everybody that we encounter because we have no idea what is going on for them at any one time, yeah? We also need to acknowledge that most of us have probably been living in some kind of perpetual state of fight, flight or freeze since March 2019. We might be feeling extra angry, snappy, frustrated and agitated in fight. We might be avoiding things or isolating ourselves in flight or we might be in all out shutdown, numbing and dissociating in various ways in freeze. We are not built to live that way for long periods of time. It's exhausting. It's draining. The brain and nervous system craves and seeks certainty. So to repeat the familiar, right? And that has been pretty tough to find but you're still here. Look what you've made it through. Take a minute to really look at what you've achieved this year. And also when I say that, notice what you feel in your body when I start to talk about what you've achieved this year. You may not feel like you've achieved much, but I reiterate, you are still here. It may not be something financial. It may not be some big milestone. It may just be taking a second to actually acknowledge yourself for something big that you overcame. Yeah, or something little for a long time. (laughs) Yeah, you've made it through homeschooling, uncertainty, constant change. You may have actually had your best year ever and you get to not feel guilty about that. You may be enjoying the fact that the social shenanigans and obligations are being cancelled left, right and centre. You get to feel that. You get to feel anything you feel. It's valid and has its place. Do not get tied up in shoulds or other people's opinions, including mine. We can also find some positives. So one thing that I've always said about this that was great from the start is we're operating less on autopilot than we ever have before. We were catapulted out of autopilot. Yeah. So even though that's more tiring because we're using more energy, we're having to think on our feet, it is allowing us to question things and find better ways of doing things, ways that serve us better. We are learning to challenge ourselves, challenge our thoughts, challenge our feelings. You know, the conversation is more loud and alive than ever when it comes to mental health. Being more honest and open, accepted, that's a really good thing. 
We're learning to embrace the unfamiliar. We're actually wiring our bodies right now, our nervous systems and our brain, to be okay with the unfamiliar. We're learning resilience. We're learning that we can do hard things. We're learning just how capable we are. So however you're feeling right now, be proud. You've made it. Yeah. Go into this holiday period remembering to ask yourself, what do I want and what do I need right now? For lots of us, that will mean rest. Guilt-free rest. And I know that's harder for some to get than others. But I would just love for you to challenge yourself with a little small shift in thinking. So instead of going through the motions of doing what you've always done, because you've always done it, you know, by yourself or in your family unit, instead of listening to the I can'ts that are there purely because you haven't before, or perhaps you felt like you can't ask for help, or you're just operating from, well, it's just always been that way. So I can't do that. It's always been this way. Yeah. Can we reframe that I can't to a question for yourself of how could I? How could I? Not even how can I yet. Just go to how could I? How could I get that thing that I want and need? What's a different way I just might be able to achieve that? Yeah, how could I? What's another possibility? What's another way? Allow yourself to sit with the question and see what comes up. Notice yourself shutting down your thinking and keep asking, how could I? Yeah. It's my favorite thing to do in a challenging situation. There's always, always, always another way to look at something or do something. There's always something that you may not have thought of. So whether you lean on on yourself and just keep asking yourself in the right way and self-coach, or you have someone else that you can brainstorm with, don't just sit in that I can't because it's always been that way. Yeah. The end of year can feel tough because often people are heading headfirst straight into burnout. Then we expect things to magically change on the 1st of January, don't we? But we all know it doesn't work that way. And then, just to add some more fun to it, then we shame ourselves and should all over ourselves. Yeah. It's also cold and the festive cheer has gone. And there's only so many times you can say, Happy New Year, did you have a nice break? Yeah, 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 good, thanks. You? Before it gets weird. So, I've put together a little something for you all. I'm often asked how I started my little uh, journey, shall we say, from Eeyore on a Bad Day, from the world's biggest anxiety-ridden catastrophizer, the emotional dementor in the room, the most negative person that you could find, to someone who could host a show called the Positive Punts Podcast and be the Fran 2.0 that you see today. Well, I'm going to help you with that by showing you. I got inspired by all the advent calendars and 12 days of Christmas excitement and thought, well, why does the fun have to stop in January? Why don't we extend the festive cheer a little bit? And why can't we still get gifts in January? Who made up that rule? It's stupid. So I'm running the Positive Pants January Jumpstart with all of this in mind. So every day in January, you'll get a short and sweet email from me. I won't take the mick. I appreciate you would be allowing me into your inbox for 31 days. <laughs> and in that email might be a tool or a technique, maybe a prompt, maybe a reframe or a book recommendation, all sorts that I have picked up since 2014 through my personal being there, done that, got the t-shirt experience and my professional experience. Essentially, I'm going to help you along on the journey to start rewiring your brain through neuroplasticity by doing just one small thing every day. Nothing taxing or strenuous, bringing it back to basics and keeping it simple. That's how I started. That is how I started. I was in such a state, no self-esteem left, ego on the floor, an emotional wreck after losing our business, our home, a car crash that I was lucky to walk away from, knee surgery that went badly, moving in with my mother-in-law, no idea how anything was ever going to get better and how I was ever going to feel differently. It was the hardest time in my life and the one I'm the most grateful for. So I just challenged myself to do one small thing per day, read one thing and try to live by it for that day. So that's what I'm giving you, just one small thing per day. Things that I know work. No self-blaming or shaming. None of these New Year's resolutions shenanigans where that's all you do. 
where all you're doing is pointing at what's wrong with you. We're operating from a different standing point. You are perfect as you are. You just want to feel different and we're going to help you do that. No complicated routines. You don't have to get up at 5 a.m. All you need to do is open the email and either do the small task or keep what it says front of mind for the day. That's it. Small changes are the ones that lead to the profound changes. And I would love for you to join me. If you're already on my email list, then you're going to get this and you don't need to do a thing. So you can just sit back, relax, and I shall see you on the 1st of January. If you are not on my email list, head to bit.ly forward slash Franz Jumpstart. So that's B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash Franz Jumpstart, all one word. If you're hearing this pre-January the 1st, you'll get everything from the 1st. If you're hearing this after January the 1st and you want to join, please still do. You'll just get the next day's email. And I really, really hope you love it and it brightens your inbox just a little. And in the meantime, thank you so much for listening. Like, I'm truly, truly grateful for each and every person who tunes in, subscribes, shares on social, recommends to friends, leaves a review, and allows me to continue running this little baby of mine. I had absolutely no idea what to expect when I started this little project, and now it's been listened to over 300,000 times all over the world, and I could not be more grateful. I'm in the top 1.5% of podcasts globally. Like, that's insane to me. And there's been over 200 episodes. Ah, and that's all down to you for continuing to listen. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have an amazing Christmas and New Year. And I will see you back here on the 3rd of January for our fourth birthday. So if you got value from this and you know in your gut that now is the time to step up and start rewiring your thinking and start changing things for yourself, then book in a free discovery call so we can work out what needs to happen to get you from where you're at right now to the action taking success you know you can be. If you want my eyes and ears on your problems, then I work with people one on one and through my programs. You can find all the details to book in a call in the show notes, the link in my bio on Instagram and on my website, franexcel.com. So stop waiting for if and when and choose to change things now because you can. I'm here to believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. And as always, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next week. Bye.